Hey guys, welcome to the channel. This monstrosity you're looking at right now is called Hori Production and it has 105mm rather long barreled Type 5 cannon. And I want to show you something. What a lovely weather here in the test drive with this thing out and about. Oh, wait a minute. Is that super Pershing? I wonder how far it is. Hmm, what a coincidence we find it here. 150, that's pro pretty much... That's probably further away than you would normally engage in enlisted, but we're gonna go for the super armored turret and see what happens. Wow. It kinda wants to go through. But it didn't. I aimed at the very edge as well. Let's go for closer to the breach, maybe? Oh, okay. Away from the edge, close to the breach. And it went straight through. Let's give it a bit more chance. Let's reverse a little bit. Okay, 200 meters, but we're gonna go for that same cheeky shot very close to the battle here. Uh, somewhere... Somewhere here? Oh my god, it just goes straight through the breach. That is insane. And you're gonna be engaging way closer and enlisted than 200 meters. Don't get me wrong, the armor layout on this thing is actually really, really good. We're gonna come a bit closer here. We're gonna wait for this thing to respawn because it should happen very, very soon. And, um,. As we previously showed, we shot the edge of this kind of overlapping armor and it didn't go through the front plate. How far are we now from this thing? Let's see. Um, 140. Okay, 140. Front plate. No bueno. Absolutely no bueno. We're gonna try and center mass here shot. You know, you would shoot... Actually, maybe intentionally go a bit higher. No, even that didn't go through. Let's say someone panics and just shoots your turret somewhere here. You know, they see a big flat spot here. They're just going to go for this, probably. Still doesn't go through. It's it's probably a lower plate. Can we go through a lower plate? Let's try a lower plate here. Yeah, we can go through a lower plate and that cheeky shot by the very battle, dude. So this is Japanese response to USA in tier 5, getting a Pershing and Super Pershing added, hopefully one of the first updates next year. Um, this is Japanese answer to finally stepping into tier 5 and it's absolutely insane. Uh, this thing has insanely good um, gun depression. This thing can go down pretty much as you can see the front plate, it can go down like this, minus 10 degrees. And this is like, this is like a fight between having the best armor layout with the worst armor layout. So we tested out the Super Pershing and the Pershing with Tiger 2H and Tiger 2H has a flat turret of 185 millimeters and you know it's a hit and miss sometimes with the Pershing so this guy has 200, 225, 225, 175, this is a very hard shot to get, the breach area 200, it is absolutely mad up here, right? This armor is really, really good. Now, the front plate is massive. It's only 120 mil, but look at the slope edge. This goes near enough 300 millimeters. Obviously, the weak spots being if you, if you dare to angle, it becomes pretty much impenetrable. But then you have these little triangles here, which are only 100 mil, and then you shoot here and everything goes kaboom. So we're going to go through some of the protection analysis from the Mr. Uh, Super Pershing. We actually have saved it up here. Yeah, it is a Super Pershing shell. Yeah, okay, USA, good. And uh, let's just start this off with 200 mil, which... 200 meters, sorry. Which you will probably going to be much closer in the uh, enlisted. We're going to shoot the front plate. Obviously, that, that's going to bounce, hit the barrel. Obviously, these physics are really good. In uh, War Thunder, I don't think that would happen in enlisted. I'm not going to lie. So you can see it's actually cool that the shell ricochets and it doesn't disappear, but actually keeps going. Lower plate and absolute... It's, it's, it's nothing there. 
it's just going to go straight through. The good thing is that the transmission kind of eats it all. If you want to try and aim one way or the other, maybe get some crew out of it. Yeah, it's still kind of stopped. Uh, there's uh, oh wow, it's kind of kind of chance here, here. Okay, so two hundred meters away, this side here. There's a lot of ammo in there. Ooh. Okay, that stopped. This side here. Super Pershing. Nope. Okay, so the breach area is slightly weaker somewhere here. Boom. No. I was actually thinking it might go through in 200 meters. Let's try here. Very difficult shot to pull off. And then we're going to go, if we, if for some reason this is angled and you want to shoot just here. Is this going to go through? It does go through, but it really, it really does nothing. This is a bit extreme angle. Engine. And shrapnel barely gets to the crew. If you angle this far, what what about the side? Absolutely. What is this side, actually? Is there 100 mil? No, it's 100 mil, dude. There's no way that's going through. Uh, it's going to be interesting, but realistically, we're going to go down to 100 meters. And enlisted. That is more like it where we kind of engage tanks. Obviously, front plate isn't going to change. Lower plate is still penetrable. These front on impenetrable. What about the top here now? Oh, some of this even said green for a second. That goes through, hits the ammo. Oh, actually, it went straight through and didn't hit the ammo. See you later. I was going to say there's a filter here in a way, I think. Is it modeled in? It has been modeled in. <gasps> but it still goes through, dude. Oh, wow, those filters might save the shrapnel from the ammo. Let's try here. Wow, okay, so going through more armor actually went through. No problem there with the armor. What's gonna happen here? This is gonna be a tough cookie to break. Maybe you just need to shoot through these filters. That didn't go through. Anyhow, we're going to test this out now the other way around. We're going to go USA. We're going to grab the Super Pershing. Go to Protection Analysis. Go to Japan. I think it's a rank 4. Not entirely sure. Hori Prototype. We need Hori Production. That's going to be rank 5 then. Okay. Hori Production. And it has a lovely, lovely shell. Type 2 APHE. So basically... It either pens and one shots or it doesn't pen at all. So we're at, let's try 200 meters, right? So we were checking out the front plate. It's pretty solid. This this is just like, it's not going to go through. Even if you aim high for the driver, I think. Oh, maybe that's... Okay, so if you manage to aim high enough, let's... Uh, yeah, I think that little sliver it gets very, very thin towards the top. If you aim straight into the driver's face, then... Uh, See, a bit lower, and that stays. You go a bit higher, and it goes through. So the turret is the interesting bit with all the added armor. So if you shoot towards the outside here. Okay. Flat on, it goes through. We were something like this angled, I believe, in a test drive. And it says, no bueno. And then we went closer to the breach. For some reason, it gets extremely thin there. And it goes straight through. And then if you know where to shoot, then obviously here where the ammo is with no extra additional armor, the whole thing goes kaboom. So both of these have weaknesses and strengths. Uh, one of them might have a bit more strengths. Uh, talking about the Mr. Hori production, you can see if the engine catches fire, I would imagine this thing can burn for a while before it hurts the crew, because you have these, hopefully these are going to be modeled in as well, but if anything penetrates, what is the side armor on this? 75. If anything penetrates you've, uh, in, the, in the main compartment, there's so much ammo, you're just going to go up like absolute fireworks. I'm going to be honest, I didn't see this coming to the game whatsoever uh, this is a big jump straight to tier 5 for japan and i am extremely excited to see this in the game let me know down in the comments below all your thoughts uh pfft. can't wait obviously it's not i don't think it's happening this year as they said they didn't make it on time but i'm 
fingers crossed January we'll see these things in the game and and it's gonna be absolute chaos and monstrosity once again so yeah thanks so much for watching see you guys in the next one goodbye